In this video, we'll discuss editing MIDI performances using the Piano Roll Editor. I'll start by recording a quick passage of MIDI notes. Next, we'll open up the Piano Roll Editor by double-clicking on the clip. The bottom half of the screen expands and opens up the editor. To the left over here, we have all the sound tab information for a particular clip. And using this control right here, we can actually hide that, which is convenient because it gives us more room to edit down here. So let's go over the rest of these controls. At the top is a playback button that plays back the clip that's currently in the editor. And you'll see that the carrot up here doesn't move in the main window, only down here in the editor. Here we have some zoom controls. These magnifying glasses zoom in and out vertically. And these arrows zoom in and out horizontally. The piano step and score buttons let you select from different editors and in this video, we'll just be talking about the Piano Roll Editor, so we'll keep it here in Piano. The basic concept of the Piano Roll Editor is much like an old player piano, which is why it's called a Piano Roll, with this grid roughly corresponding to the punch rolls of paper that they used to use in player pianos. So over here is a piano keyboard with low notes on bottom and high notes on top. And these blue bars correspond to the actual notes being played and the horizontal length of them corresponding to how long the notes are. So if I play up here, you can see as soon as the bar ends, the note ends. Over here are the tools you'll use for editing in the piano window. And the default tool is the arrow. The arrow performs a number of functions. You can move notes around by clicking and dragging. You can resize notes by grabbing the edges. Here I'm making a note longer. Or you can actually lengthen it in front as well, which effectively is changing the start position. And you can also edit multiple notes simultaneously by drawing a box around notes and clicking and dragging. The next tool is the pencil tool and this lets you draw new notes in the grid by just clicking in a spot. The note value and velocity setting let you define the length and velocity of notes inserted with the pencil tool. For example, if I select quarter notes and a velocity of 127 and I draw a note, you can see the length of the note is a quarter note and the velocity is 127. Over here you can click the dot for dotted note values or the number three for triplet note values. It's important to understand the relationship of how the grid works with the snap setting up here. Right now it's set to snap to grid, so this means any notes that I draw in or move around will snap to these lines in the grid. The size of the grid is defined by the horizontal zoom setting, so if I zoom in, the grid will get finer, and if I zoom out, the grid gets coarser. Leaving the snap setting and snap to grid is usually the easiest and most intuitive way to edit in the piano editor, but you can also set it to a defined setting such as one bar. And now you can see the grid gets much larger. You'll probably find that snap to grid is a good setting for most applications. The eraser tool lets you easily erase notes by just clicking on them, or you can hold down the mouse button and drag across several notes and erase many notes in one fell swoop. The MIDI editing button allows you to perform advanced MIDI editing operations including quantization, transposition, and more, and since there's a lot of functionality available here, we'll cover this in another video. We've already discussed the snap setting in relation to newly drawn notes, but keep in mind it also applies to edits made to existing notes using the arrow tool. If I move a note's location, our start or end point, these will always snap to the current snap setting. The scale pop-up menu over here is useful because it lets you change the piano keyboard to display drum maps, for example, an 808-909 drum map, and it's a little small right now, but you can see all the different instruments, and this works in conjunction with Mixcraft's built-in instruments. The Copy To button allows you to export the current clip either to the Performance Panel, which we'll talk about in another video, or to the main clip grid. The exported copy will land at the current carrot location of the selected track, so if I select this track right here, and I put the carrot right here and choose copy to track. You see a copy lands right here. By default, these vertical bars at the bottom of the screen show note velocity. And you can see right here where it says velocity note on. And you can adjust the velocity of notes by simply clicking and dragging on these. Now, in this case, I've hit three notes at once. And you can see there's multiple bars there. So you can adjust the velocity for individual notes by clicking on them. And one turns red. And now I can move it up and down. And those other blue ones behind it are these notes here. This field defaults displaying velocities for notes, but you can also click this down arrow to see more parameters. And my screen capture size isn't showing that it's popping off here at the bottom, but there are numerous MIDI control parameters that can be set in this field. 
You can always switch which parameter is displayed by clicking on the down arrow here and selecting the desired parameter. 